All right, I just want to share an issue I had with EG4 3000 model, the three kilowatt model I have. I bought it from Signature Solar. Uh, when I first got it, I tried to uh, enable the, the power saving mode and I couldn't do that. So I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you what happened. Right now it says disable. Okay, when I switch it to enable and click select, it wouldn't do that. If I press escape, it automatically revert back to disable. Eventually I discover the problem is that if you look at over here, let me zoom in. You see this little P is flashing. That means this inverter is in the parallel mode so this unit allows you to have multiple units combined together whether run in single phase or split phase basically increase your capacity so when that when this inverter is in the parallel mode it is automatically disable the power saving mode for some reason this unit came with that setting by default all right in order to turn off the um, the parallel mode and switch back to single mode, you need to have two power source. So right now, if you look at the screen, it shows the only one power source, which is the batteries. My battery bank's over here. Um, so what I need to do is either have PV, solar power, or I can have a short power. Let me get out the RV. Okay, so what I need and plug in. Okay, here we go. All right, give it a few seconds. All right, you see that? It's just the unit just click, and now you see the AC bypass, the bypass mode, so the true power. And now it's charging the battery. So now you have two sources of power. One is battery, one is the short power. So when you have two power source, then what you can do is to go to the program number 28. Did I just pass? 28. You see that? Let's say PAL. That's been parallel mode. All right, you click select. Oops, we don't want three phase. Let's go the other way. We want a single mode. You press enter. Okay. Now, what you need to do is go back to number four. Now it's still say disable. Now you need to enable, press select. Now we have power saving mode. Okay. That's how you enable power saving. I had it enabled for a day yesterday and uh, I don't think it thing worked very well. So basically when in a power saving mode, the unit would try to detect if there's any load on the inverter. If there's no load or the load is very low, it will turn off the line. It will basically turn off the inverter and not produce any power. And right now I have some low in the RV. So it's still producing 120 volt. Oh, you know what? Because I have the AC bypass. Let me unplug. Okay, let me unplug the short power. Just to show, you. I just unplug. Alright, now we in the in the battery power mode, the line mode. But if you look at this during the power saving mode, look at the output. Right now, say 120 and drop to zero. 120 and drop to zero. 
okay so that indicate that you have some load on the system in this case so my rv has a little bit of load but not enough for the inverter to stay on i keep on to, to switch back to power saving so this is basically a flapping um situations yeah they, they really need to work on the software of this unit let me show you what happened inside my rv show you the uh, my microwave do you see it, uh, it shut down and came back on again but if I turn on the light okay actually I need a little bit more light for it to stay on all right now I turn on a couple of lights Did you see that? Now the power stay on. So you need to have a, in order for it to turn, oh, did it just turn off again? Yeah, power saving kind of work. In, um, it's just that if you don't have enough, this thing just gonna f flip back and forth. I don't know what the long term will do to the microwave or some electronics. I'm not so sure. Um, but if you don't have any sensitive electronic, I assume probably okay. Um, let me turn up one light. Okay. I don't, yeah, one light is just not enough. Yeah, this thing now stays on. Okay. And now I, let me turn off all the lights. I love the converter running. I don't know how much it draw, probably draw very little. Just not enough to keep the the EG4 3000 stay on permanently. Uh, I have a Schneider um, XW Pro for my house. And it, it has the search mode and actually works really good. I can set, um, what, how many watt before it to turn the inverter back on so it's so you can fine tune but in this case we can't really so um oh, that's okay I guess I guess another thing you can do is just um, right, back on then you can do um basically flip the, the switch completely off when you do that Basically, there's no load on the on the the whole system. Let me go back to show you. Okay, when there is no load to the system, you look at the voltage now. is stay at zero because it's not detecting any load to the inverter so it and when the inverter shut off they only draw about hmm let me go grab my ammeter Right, we're in the power saving mode. I want to show you how we have the clamp on ammeters. I'm going to show you how many amps it's drawing. It's drawing about 0 0.5 and jumping up and down. I'll say 0 0.5. Let's say 50 volt unit times 0 0.5. So you're getting, oh, that's a little bit high. Okay, I'm gonna reset it to zero. Okay. All right, I'm gonna zero this. And it's about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 amps. So that power draw about 25 watts. Okay. Let me show you. 
show you. And if we switch off the power saving mode. Okay. All right, now do you see that? I have 120 volts. And now the power draw jumped to 1.25. A few times, say 50 volt. It's about 60 watts they're using. Okay, now power is saving this back on. Did you see that? It changed to zero. And the power consumption. Oh, it's actually dropped to zero point, I'll say zero point three maybe. And that's 15 watts. Yeah, I don't know what happened earlier, but now when the power saving on kicking is about 15 watts. That's that's within the spec according to the menu. Well I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching.